Um, thanks to the club for giving me the opportunity um, to chase my dream 14 years ago. Uh, from the moment I walked into the club, I felt at home straight away. Uh, Rob and Ann Snowden at the time, who were the footy manager, uh, opened up their doors to me and I lived with them for a few months before uh, moving in with my host family, Chris and Tracy Jones in Semaphore, who um, you know, I guess they became my, my new family in a sense and their support in the first few years um, to get settled into South Australia was um, is always something that I'll be forever grateful for them. Um, I'd better share a quick story about Kane as well in the early days. We, uh, we, uh, we just finished a training session and um, we had recovery down at Semaphore. This was about 14 years ago. And um, recovery down at Semaphore. And then from recovery, we had to go straight back to Elberton. So I didn't have a, my car wasn't here at that stage. So I jumped in the car with Kane, driving, meant to be going back to Elberton. But we've been driving around for about 25 minutes, half an hour. And all of a sudden, we come across the entertainment centre on Port Road. And he's looked at me and he goes, mate, where are we? And I was like, mate, you lived here your whole life. I've only been here for two weeks. But I think it was the first time he'd actually left Glenelg. But um, <laughs> um, I'll just thank some of the, um, I guess, um, executives at, at the club that helped me out over, the, over my career, to Greg Bolton and Bucky, who led us to the flag, um, to Brett Duncanson and Hazy, who um, did some, you know, got their hands dirty and really pushed the move to Adelaide Oval. Um, those two guys were a huge support for me in pretty tough times as captain, and um, Brett and, and Hazy still helped me to, these, to this day um, with my post-footy stuff which I appreciate. Um, to Keith and Koshi, I really admire the way you guys manage the club. Um, you know, the first thing Koshi said to us as a playing group, and he said it tonight, is as a club, we, we need to bring fun back to the footy, and I think he's delivered that in spades. And also to, to Keith, um, the way you've handled some unbelievably tough situations is just absolutely inspirational, and um, thanks for your support as well. Um, to my coach, to the coaches I've been lucky enough to play under, uh, Choco, who, you know, drove us hard really early. Uh, he was so passionate, and I'm really proud to be able to call him my premiership coach. Um, to Phil Walsh, who Kane mentioned before, um, really helped me uh, learn what it takes to be a good AFL player. Um, you know, the amount of time I spent with him, learning my craft, and also Jeff Morris, um, getting out there, doing extras. Uh, with Kane pretty much most mornings of the week to try and find a way to break into the team. So thanks to those guys. Uh, to Matty Primus and, and to now Kenny, who um, your fastball movement killed me. But um, I, I could honestly talk about you all night. I, uh, I love your honesty. I, I love the empathy you show, the motivation you bring to the group, the way you push the, gr the, way you push the group to defend hard and then encourage encourage them to take the game on. You want to win and never give up attitude. You always say you get what you deserve and um, I hope that you uh, get what you deserve, mate, and that's the premiership and I've got no doubt that you'll get that. I'll miss, uh, I'll miss coming into your office to talk about footy and life. Um, I'm so thankful that I can look back in the last 18 months of my career and say that I absolutely loved every minute of it. Um, oh, Dad's Army, um, Alfie and the boys, I honestly love you blokes, you, you guys are what defines our great club. Um, the doc and, docs and the physios, such a great group, always make sure our health and well-being uh, is always paramount. There's nothing ever too much to ask from you guys, you go over and above. Um, particularly Fish, he's raced over our house many occasions to check up on the girls or myself when we're sick. So. Thanks to you, to the strength and conditioning uh, team. Thanks to um, you know the whole crew who worked tirelessly to get the to get us uh, fit as fit as possible. It was great to train under Dr. Darren Burgess, um, but I definitely won't miss Dubai. There's no doubt about that. Um, to our supporters, thanks so much. Um, they're just absolute diehards and. Adelaide Oval's been labelled the Portress, all because of you guys, and you wouldn't even know there's another team in the state. Um, the, the commitment...
the commitment you show and, and joy you bring to the games um, is easily the best in the competition. The pre-game mar march and the wave of teal and the noise you make is something I'll never forget. To my teammates, thanks for being such a great group of blokes. I'm so proud of you all. I admire the way you guys soak up hard work and continue to look for ways to improve. The level of trust and commitment to the jumper you wear is unquestionable. You really are a special group and I can't wait to watch you guys grab the competition by the scruff of the neck next year and go all the way. The respect and honesty you guys show each other is what makes the culture such a special one. There's no doubt I'll miss you all. To my family, my mum, dad, and my brother back in Perth, love and support for me has been huge. It's never been easy, it's never easy being far from home, uh, being away from home, but um, you've always supported me no matter what. To Maya, you've been a, you know, a part of the journey the whole way. You've always been my shoulder to lean on. I'll never be able to thank you enough for the commitment and sacrifices you made for me to chase my dream and do what I love. So thanks for being an amazing wife and such a loving mother to the two girls, Eva and Rose. And lastly, thanks again to the footy club. I feel so blessed to have had the chance to wear our great jumper. Um, this club will always have a place in my heart. Thanks.